What part of eliminated do you not understand? Uh, I guess the part where I have to leave? Okay, so like the main part. You, the floor, have been voted out. Therefore, you can't stay here anymore. I get that. But why? I like it here. Because you're no longer welcome on this island. Well, that's a shame. Because I kind of am the island? Maybe you can make an exception. Oh, so you want special treatment? Then how's this? Stay if you must, but know that you are officially considered invisible. From this moment on, we won't talk to you. We won't even look at you. It'll be like you don't even exist. Works for me. <laughs> Foul. And go. <gasps> Now that was a close one. Now that is it. I could deal with losing my only basketball and your haunting presence in the murky depths, but no, you just had to go ahead and ruin my anniversary special. Sorry, but we are neighbors. You had to know we'd be bumping into each other. Well, here goes the neighborhood because I'm revising this challenge one final time. I want one of you to find a way to get the floor out of here. But me phone, it's... Uh, how? It's not possible. Not possible. Oh, it's not possible. Figure it out. He doesn't belong here anymore. So if you want to win, save us from him now. supposed to follow someone who can teleport. Good point, Nickel. Let's just keep standing still. That's much better. <laughs> hey, now, listen. Uh, sorry, have you decided your name yet? Oh, still workshopping. <laughs> cool, no rush. Listen, you. He could literally be anywhere on this island, here included. So if you see any better solution... Uh, oh, shoot, my luck's in the way. Yo, what? Oh, you didn't know? Clover gave Nickel some of her luck. He doesn't like to use it, though. He what? Some of us would die for magical abilities, and you have the gift of good fortune, but would rather leave it unwrapped? Hate to say it, but I agree with him. I know you think it can't do anything right, but maybe it can prove itself to you? Huh, kind of like someone I know. All right, let's try it. Lead the way, Nichols hand-me-down butterfly. Paintbrush really seems to think their game is in shambles after Candle's betrayal. But I know for a fact how strong Paintbrush is. I just need to prove to them how well I know it. Paintbrush, it must be acknowledged that the Thinker's Alliance isn't what it used to be. But it doesn't matter. You've always been the brains of the operation. No. Heart and soul, maybe, but brains? If I had brains, I... I wouldn't have let it all fall apart. Don't you see, Paintbrush? You always have the same problem. It only ever falls apart because you always get stuck with an undeserving leader who brings you down. Me, though? I want to lift you up. <gasps> lift us next, please! N not lifting literally? A little leap in logic there. <laughs> what I mean is- Hmm, lifting literally, eh? That gives me an idea. Oh, hello there. You don't mind if I stick around, do you? Ooh, gotta go. Some luck this is, it led us to nothing. No, we're just not catching up fast enough. That shouldn't matter if it's luck. Maybe catching the floor is a task so insurmountable that it's testing luck's limits. But this little butterfly is still doing its best. Yeah, we need to be patient. Give them a chance. They don't even have a name yet. I'm starting to get the feeling that some of us may be projecting onto the butterfly. <laughs> no, you're a butterfly. It's not just about having luck. It's how you use it. Now remember, the second you see him, lift him up with your shovel and deposit him into our homemade terrarium. Who knew Prison could be so cute? 
We have to be quick, though, before he pops away. Practice makes perfect. See how effective your plans can be with a partner who respects you, unlike Silver and his royal advice. <laughs> yeah, or OJ still managing me like we're back at the hotel. <laughs> And lest we forget the latest wacky nonsense from Lightbulb. That was her name, right? It's him! <laughs> that tickles. Where does you end and not you begin? He ends here! Lifted literally! Face it, face! You don't belong here anymore! Yes, I do! Paintbrush, are you okay? Is it just me, or did the ground start to move? Ah, uh, hello? He wouldn't stop moving! Pay more attention! <sighs> Phew, it's just you. Oh, where to? Wow, a picnic just for us! I trust you implicit- Wait, how did you know I liked deviled eggs? I haven't shared that with you yet. No! Traitor! You have a candle. Plebeians can't resist their ground food. I didn't pitch it like that, but thank you. What kind of puzzle is this? It's a basket. He must be so used to flat surfaces that a rectangular prism is like some sort of maze to him. Gosh, that must be so confusing, having an entirely new outside. Well, all surfaces take getting used to. Sand, hardwood, this devil box. But no matter what, I'm still me. Hide with balloon all you want, but you can't fly away from your mistakes! No, wait, I think it's trying to tell us that maybe you can. <gasps> That's it! Gather everyone! I've figured it out! Up, up, and away! From the floor! <laughs> bye bye Ta-ta! Look at him becoming smaller and smaller! No! Hey, look away! Look away! Alright, now if we all just remain up here long enough, he'll leave from lack of stimulation. It's foolproof. What do you say? This is far from ideal, but I'm sadly considering it. Yes! And may we never see the floor again! Hooray! Little road? We should have never taught him baskets. You know, something's telling me that maybe trying to force the floor to leave is wrong. Don't be ridiculous. The floor is completely disrespecting the rules of this game, Paintbrush. I can't just let chaos reign. I think someone as pragmatic as you should understand. But he knows he belongs here. He knows it without a doubt. And much better than you know how to enforce these precious rules of yours! Well, newsflash, I'm terrible at administrative tasks. I'm great at making a show, not running it. I just want to focus on the creative stuff. Leave the logistics to the... the... Ugh! Okay, now I know at this point we're becoming desperate for ideas, and we all know from our shared trauma of the bridge incident that the floor can apparently be killed when his face is smashed hard enough. Um, why are you mentioning this? Because we must all agree that certain extremes are off limits. Okay, that should hopefully go without saying. Yes, I would certainly hope no one is even considering such an obscene option. I would certainly hope someone is considering such an obscene option. They'd look so dreadful, their immunity votes would never recover. But the floor would win-win. You know, Yin, I've been thinking I'm not going to entertain this. You don't even know what I'm going to say! I won't be a bystander to your attempted murder! Fine, then get involved! Stop it! This is a horrible idea. Yeah, almost as horrible as one of Lightbulbs, right? 
paintbrush. Please, I'm just trying to give you the support you've always needed. Meanwhile, all Lightbulb ever gave you was a hard time with her leaps in logic. And the courage to start taking those leaps. You're right. She did give you more. I, I should have remembered. She gave you that cute crab that, that, that you, uh, you left at the hotel since concerts are too loud for him, right? Oh, what was his name? Um, um... Cabby. No, I'm Cabby. That much I can remember without looking. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know this. I know this. Uh, here, Bex. You really rely on those, don't you? Without them, I wouldn't remember anything. What? No way. You're full of facts. In here? Not here. Once I write it down, it's as good as gone. No wonder Paintbrush doesn't want to be partners. I have nothing to offer. I... I... I'm sure you know more than you think. You knew how to make me laugh today, remember? I do now. <laughs> oh, that tickles! They'll be so impressed. That I did this for us! No, this doesn't count. You gave me the answer, just like every mindless note I take! No, Gabby! I was only trying to help! Oh, will this day of torture never end? your face hard enough to win! I am not part of this! Give it up, Dirty! You're going home! For the last time! I am home! Do you think caterpillars dream of being butterflies? Of course they do! But then, what do the butterflies dream of? Hmm, being themselves. They just look different now. I see you with the trick questions. Perhaps we could tunnel underground. Hmm, that's actually really smart. Go underground willingly? I'd sooner perish. I take it back. I take it back! Oh, we should have never messed with the floor in the first place! When you fight against nature, it fights back! This shaking has to stop eventually, right? I think the shaking is only the beginning. No, it can't be. Unless... Red spot. Oh no! The floor is lava! Not to be confused with the game! What do we do? Quick, into the bunker! Crud, I never built the bunker. I'm sorry everyone, I didn't plan for an eruption because I don't know how to plan things. Don't go closer! He's gonna blow! What is she doing? Taking the leap. You know, lately I've been worried if I went by a different name, or maybe even looked a little different, I wouldn't be me anymore. But you helped me realize that no matter what you put out there, you're still you. I know he's not gone, but you did say the winner of the challenge would have to save us from him. That's as close as we're gonna get. Hey up there! Good news! I just want to say, I do admit I may have provoked the floor. Just a smidgen. I ap- uh, 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 I ap- uh, I, I ap- uh, He apologizes. Oh dear, well, I accept your apology, of course. But others may not! Well, at least we didn't have to evacuate. I did not have a clue how to do that. It seems like you need help with some of the more logistical things in the show. Good news, though. I know this terrain as well as I know myself. So, here's my offer. You let me stay, and I'll be your quirky new assistant! No, you're a well-intentioned, complete train wreck who wants to help, but can barely seem to do anything right. Which sounds like... Ah, <sighs> which sounds just like the kind of assistant I'd be stuck with. Guess you two found some common ground after all. Oh, me phone. Put her there. I am not putting my hand into lava. Hey, that was pretty impressive out there, um... But! But! Huh? Nice name! Thanks! It's the part that's me. 
and I'm gonna look more like me than ever. You sure Silver and Candle will stick with us in this vote? Look how many chances we all gave that butterfly today. Do you think we did that because we all trusted it? No, we did it because it was the most convenient option. And so are we. <sighs> but we don't have to be. If we want to take out the game's most perceptive player, then yes we do. They need to trust us. <laughs> All right, I just want to clarify that whoever is voted out today will have to physically leave. I can't, I, I, I can't do this again. I need to hear a verbal agreement from each yeah. of us. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, so you cannot vote for bot, but do you want to guess who got immunity from the viewers for the sixth time? Well, not if you're gonna be all passive aggressive about it. Listen, Yin Yang, you're great. Probably my second favorite contestant still here, but the game just can't be this predictable. And so, there will be no more viewer voting. What? So I manipulated them for nothing? I mean, uh, ooh, unpredictability. I'm sorry, I'm still on that second favorite contestant thing. Who exactly did you think you'd make happy with that comment? My second best friend has a point. I will be taking threes and sevens feedback into account. Now on to the votes. First vote, candle. Paintbrush. One vote candle, one vote paintbrush. Yin Yang does not count. Candle. Paintbrush. Two votes candle, two votes paintbrush. Candle. Paintbrush. Three votes candle. Three votes paintbrush. One vote left. Twelfth contestant eliminated from inanimate insanity invitational. Paintbrush. Take this as proof that you were substantial. Paintbrush. I could never replace your real partner. Oof. I can't even imagine how tough it must be to leave here, huh? Okay, so like today was kind of a disaster, but most of the time, this place is paradise! Yeah, it was a fun vacation, Mephone. But my heart's just not really in it anymore. So, I think I'm ready to go home. I'm coming, Baxter. Yes, Fist Thingy, you still got it! All right, today some of us pursued greener pastures while others stood their ground. Who will stick around and who will have to go? Find out on the next episode of Inanimate Insanity Invitational. With assistance by me, bye. Animation. Hey everyone, Brian here. So my job was to write this episode, but now I have a job for you. Yes, as Mephone tragically announced, you cannot vote for anyone to have immunity. But, if you want to make an impact on the future of Inanimate Insanity, then please, follow these instructions very carefully. Share the video, like the video, leave a fabulous comment, and be sure to subscribe to this channel. If you do slash have done all four of these things, then congratulations! You too are now qualified to become Mephone's new assistant. Please note that becoming Mephone's new assistant may result in limited benefits and frequent vacations, lack of lunch breaks, lack of respect, too much respect, unexpected overtime, and sharing the burden of repressed memories. So what are you waiting for? There's no downside. There are many downsides. Share, like, comment, and subscribe, because remember, there's no better way to become Mephone's new assistant than by pressing a bunch of random buttons in quick succession. Best of luck. Quantities of luck are limited.